Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another wig install from Julia Hair. This is their 7x5 Lace Closure Bye Bye Knots Kinky Curly Wig. This wig also has the kinky edges along with it and it looks super natural, you guys. I was actually really loving how natural this wig was looking on me. This wig is 100% human hair. I have her in 24 inches and I honestly wanna say that this wig is 150% density. She also comes pre-plucked as well, but honestly, you don't have to worry about that, again, because of those natural kinky edges that you have on this unit. Therefore, you do not have to worry about glue or anything like that. It's not necessary for this unit. It's going to be a put on and go wig install very simple all right so as always we're starting off with giving you an unboxing just so you see everything that comes along with this wig unit now i'm going to give you some close-ups of this hair take a look at that kinky curly texture you guys those coils are super tight take a look at those edges so first things first you're going to add some foundation onto that lace adding foundation that matches your skin color onto that lace will make a difference because it will help it blend in a lot better all right now i'm going to go ahead and comb back these edges having the kinky edges is great but you don't want it to look like it's separated from the rest of the hair so i'm gonna go ahead and comb it back and also i realized that the lace was not laying as flat as i would have liked it to so i am going to add a little bit of spray just to help it out with that and i'm also going to add some more foundation as well So after adding a little bit of spray and the extra foundation, I feel like the lace looks a lot more natural. We are going to play with the edges as well because what I'm going to do is use those kinky edges to cover up any type of lace that I feel like might be a little bit more noticeable. Instead of laying them down, we're just going to leave them extremely natural. All right, so we're gonna move on to the rest of the hair. If you notice any lace on the sides, don't worry, I'm gonna fix it a little later on. I'm gonna finger detangle the hair first just to get any shedding out. Be realistic, you guys. This is a curly unit, and it's a kinky curly unit at that, and she's very thick, okay? So I already expected for her to have quite a bit of shedding, and I'm gonna give you guys some close-ups of that. But part of the reason why I finger detangle before I add any type of water or anything is because I already know that the wig is going to shed. It's curly hair. Then if I notice that there's any stringy pieces towards the ends, I just go ahead and I cut them off. You don't want those there because it's gonna make the wig look a lot thinner than it actually is. All right, so you guys see the difference in density? That's exactly why we fluff the hair out, okay? So I went ahead and I did do my curly hair routine on the side that you guys saw me detangle. I did that off camera just to save some time. That's what the hair is looking like, and as you can see, the wet and dry difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact method on the other side. I start off with some water, and I finger detangle once more to get rid of all that shedding, and then I just set the curls with some gel. I'm also going to fix these kinky edges as well to make sure that it's covering up any lace that may be showing. Next, I did go ahead and just add a little bit of layers in the front just to frame my face and I just fluffed her out and I allowed her to air dry. So obviously the method that I did, the cutting of the layers, the cutting of the stringy pieces, playing around with the kinky edges, adding a little bit of spray on the lace, that's all optional you guys, that's just my preference. If you throw on the wig and you realize you don't have to do that, nor do you want to do that, then don't do it. But I always just like to let you guys know that I'm going to do whatever I feel like looks best and I like to get the best out of these wig units with what they have given me, okay? So don't feel pressured to do anything if you do not want to do it. It really depends on how the wig looks on you, what your preferences are, what kind of look you are going for, okay? But as you guys can see, this is the final look. Again, I allowed her to air dry and she did not take too long to air dry at all because I did not use that much water. I also did not use that much gel. That way I can make sure I had like more so of a fluffy end result. I wanted definition there, but I wanted the hair to look big. But overall, I really did enjoy this unit. I loved how natural she looks. I am a fan of kinky edge wigs, as long as they're not like too kinky, because I've seen some wigs where it's just like the edges are a little ridiculous, but I like when they mimic my natural hair. As you guys can see, it blends in with my sideburns. It just looks super natural, so I can appreciate that. 